You sent for me, sir? Yes. I wish a report on your Seattle mission. Yes, sir. Using the equipment you provided, I was able to trace the unusual energy readings you detected. As you suspected, they were supernatural in origin. I traced the energy emissions to this estate on the south shore of Mercer Island in a predominantly Jewish residential area. The property is owned by David Golden, a New York lawyer. Its caretaker, Lawrence Cartagel, lives there year-round. I set up surveillance of the estate and discovered the source of the supernatural emanations. This group of individuals known as the Elementals. I observed them for several days as they conducted combat training. As you can see, they are successful primarily in getting in each other's way. Their abilities apparently correspond to the four legendary elements of nature. I decided to do a background investigation for each of them. The apparent leader of the group is Jeanette Crane, aka Morningstar. She is, or was, a police officer in Los Angeles. Her power is pyrokinetic, the ability to spontaneously generate and project flames at unbelievable temperatures. She also seems to be completely immune to all effects of heat. This man is Jeff Murphy, codenamed Vortex. He was a helicopter pilot for a Navy Special Forces team during the Vietnam War. He was also a pilot for the Coast Guard. He has the ability to fly at tremendous speeds. He can also project blasts of highly concentrated winds, equaling colossal concussive force. This one is most unusual. On several occasions, I observed this 14-year-old boy transform himself into a creature called Monolith. His name is Tommy Chukra son of a deceased archaeologist. In his transformed state, he appears to be composed of living stone. His considerable strength is in proportion to his increased size and mass. Finally, there is Rebecca Golden, codenamed Fathom. She is the daughter of the estate owner. It appears that her new skin color and webbed fingers are permanent mutations. She has the ability to control massive amounts of water from any available source. She also seems to be able to turn into living water. There is one more important piece of background information. They're all dead. Officially, they all died on the same day three weeks ago. Obviously, these deaths were arranged which seems to indicate government involvement. No, their threat is more personal than that. Well, then I decided to... You decided to attack them. By yourself, with no instructions from me. Yes, sir. I thought it was necessary. Why? They were an unknown force which appeared out of nowhere. As you have pointed out, sir, your plans are approaching a critical nexus. I had to quickly evaluate any possible threat to those plans. I judged that the best way to do this was to observe them in an actual combat situation. I put my judgment into effect yesterday morning. Well, you're all up early this morning. What have they done to my kitchen? Couldn't sleep. You're wearing your uniform. Are you and your friends going to work out again? When your father sees the mess you've made of the grounds, he's going to hit the roof. I called him last night, your father. Oh, what did he say when you told him about me? Miss Rebecca, if you think I'm going senile, I would prefer that you come right out and say so. I didn't tell your father anything except to get on the next flight out here. When he arrives, you can tell him you are not dead and that you showed up here out of the clear blue, all changed and... and green. I'm flying long a wing and a prayer. Pardon me, Tommy. Where are you going, Jeff? Where else? 
You really like it up there, don't you? <sighs> Best place in the world to be. I observed the one called Vortex separating from the others. So I determined to take him first. I chose an appropriate shape and maneuvered above him for a surprise attack. This should be high enough. Now to see what I can really do up here. Perfect control. This is fantastic! Huh. What up here this high could cast a shadow? Like this! <sighs> Vortex, I think you're in trouble. Well, there won't be any training today. The clouds that Fathom summoned turned into a thunderstorm. Do you mean Rebecca caused this? How can anyone living have such powers? I'm not sure anything can. That's the front door. <gasps> Hello, Fathom. I think we're being attacked. Wait. He's coming around. Vortex. Jeff, can you hear me? What happened? Be careful. Whatever is out here, it's probably associated with the menace we've been sent back for. What's that sound? Oh my god. Fathom, look out! Scat, kitty! That was... Well done, my pretty girl. Keep that up and you just might survive this. But I rather doubt it. Surprise! Those were just warning shots. There won't be any more. I suggest you surrender. I think I'll pass on that, if you don't mind. Warning star! Look out! Don't... What? What happened to Fathom? She is... Did I kill her? That takes care of Fathom. And it looks like Morningstar is stunned too. Vortex is definitely out for the duration. That leaves Monolith. Now I wonder where he is. What was that? I don't know, man. He's coming from that house up there. From that house? But... That's my house. Just what is going on there? Oh, wow, man. You can measure it me all day without hurting me in the most slightest. My superfluent form makes me impervious to your strength. Perhaps so, but I hope you don't mind if I test your theory. <laughs> Lake Washington is very deep and mostly bottomed in mud. I didn't know if he could drown in his rocky form, but I knew that at his massive weight, he wouldn't be doing any swimming. He was effectively out of the fight. Minutes 232519 spot for the disturbance at 1405 Lake Drive. Hit the lights, Junior, let's go! <laughs> Star should be about ready for some more fun. I wonder which form I should use to finish her off. I know just the. Th ah! I told you, you wouldn't get any more warning shots. Ready to give up yet? You hurt me, you little bitch! Next time we meet, you're dead! What's happening here? Everybody, freeze! All right, until we sort out this mess, everybody is under arrest. Good lord. Becky? So when I had enough first-hand information on them, I broke off the fight and returned here. And your evaluation? They are very powerful, but inexperienced. They have great potential. Are you considering recruiting them? No. They will not join me, because they have been created specifically to destroy me. Summon the rest of your team. You will leave at once to eliminate them. 